This is how to install an external hard drive to your Xbox Series S, whether you are doing so with a last gen storage solution or the new Seagate expansion storage and or a future storage option that will become available for the console. So the first thing to note is that you do need to find a USB port. There's one on the front, two on the back, and we'll be showing that off in a sec here. And then you just kind of plug things in. It's super easy. Be sure to like the video, subscribing is great as well. And let's turn this thing around and get plugging things in. So if you look on the back of the console, we have two USB slots with plugged in external hard drives. That's your last gen 3.0 storage. So that's where you're going to put your Xbox One games, your original Xbox, your Xbox 360 titles. You put them on the older storage drives if you want to use those. For next gen storage, you do need to use something such as the Seagate expansion drive or a equivalent. I do have a review of this up on the channel. If you do need any further details and thoughts on it, it's been pretty helpful. It's a few different sizes now available. So you simply take this and you plug it into the back and you're good to go there. Same with the external hard drives. You just take them, plug them into one of the USB slots, again, with there being three of them. And there you go. It's as simple as that. There's no other work involved. It just, you plug them in, you're good to go. It'll prompt you on the screen and we'll be showing that off in a second here. Okay, the hard drive is plugged in. We get three different options. You can cancel, you can format the storage device in order to work for your games. Again, when you're using these ones, it is last gen games or games that don't require the next gen storage. You need a special storage slot, which we'll talk about briefly in a sec here in order to work that. Or you can use it for media. So for the media one, music, videos, pictures, throw it on there, use it for that. You can use that as an option for recording gameplay right from your console to the storage drive. You can do up to an hour, 4K, 60, HDR, non-HDR, which is SDR footage if you'd like to. But for this particular choice, we're formatting the storage drive. It's going to format and then eventually you're going to get the option once it's done formatting to basically kind of name it. So you're going to have things such as like I've named mine the Cortana 2, the Arnie 2 stuff like that. So those are basically some of your storage options in regards to how that works. So we're going to show off something else here. So we're in the settings here and then we go over to storage devices and you can see we have different options here and this is where you're able to kind of do your renaming. So you press the start button, say we've got the, uh, the, the extra drive here, the new one we just installed, you'd press start on it. You can install here by default, move or copy things, uninstall stuff, rename it. This is also a way that you can format it. You can set it as a capture location, view the contents, very easy. They've even got the info on the left-hand side there kind of telling you what everything does. It's very simplistic, you know, it's a very easy to manage system and just generally very simplistic to use and kind of set up your drives with. I hope that was helpful.